A crucial and early pusher of the QAnon conspiracy theory, a guy by the name of Jim Watkins, um, apparently ran a site that was infested with illegal child sexual exploitation. Now, for those of you who might be unfamiliar with QAnon conspiracy theorists, uh, they believe that Democrats are part of some satan satanic cult um, that traffic children and you know drink the blood of children, like insane conspiracy theories. But the main tenet, the, the core of that conspiracy theory is that children are being exploited for sexual acts and uh, sex trafficking. Now, let's get back to Jim Watkins uh, because uh, this report focuses on the moderation of an earlier website that was run by him. And here's what we know. Review of a little known archive documenting conversations in the moderation channel of Pink, an earlier internet forum, captures Jim Watkins, the site's administrator, pushing for a hands off approach to the moderation of child porn related content there. Entries in the archive created between 2004 and 2018 show he was slow to address concerns about child pornography and dismissed advice from moderators seeking to stop the spread of potentially illegal content. And we've got some examples to share with you in just a moment. But before we do, um, interesting how the political ideology that goes around calling all sorts of innocent people, including teachers, groomers and pedophiles, has nothing to say about these kinds of stories, right? Now, not on their radar at all. Not interested in talking about it at all. Uh, and of course, these tend to be people who believe in QAnon conspiracy theories as well. In a series of posts from uh, spring of 2009, including one from June, the logs show no record of Watkins appearing on the board where moderators lodge deletion requests for a month. A moderator seeking his help handling the sharing of pedof uh, uh, you know, this type of content complained about the lack of participation in a post they made searching him out on another discussion thread where he was more active. Now in this post, the moderator offers uh, several potential courses of action to Watkins, including three different types or three different ways to delete the sus uh, suspect post, along with an option of frankly admitting he doesn't care if pink is viewed as dating service or child porn exchange BBS because of the consistent volume of pedophilic sharing that keeps happening. Instead of quickly repli replying to what many would see as an urgent and concerning problem, Watkins responds, quote, let me drink some coffee before I read this deeply. What? So your moderators are telling you that there is content on there for pedophilia. And your response is, let me drink a nice cup of coffee and then maybe later I'll read, I'll read into it a little more deeply. Subsequent related messages show a similar pattern. Watkins shrugs them off. I can't seem to solve this problem, he responded in Japanese. Please tell me what I should do. When a moderator made practical suggestions to Watkins, including proactively deleting any potential pedophilic content, the logs show no response. Jenk. Okay, let me give you more examples because, so look, there's two possible motives here. One is he wants to make money and he's a deeply immoral, evil man. He doesn't care how he makes the money. The other is that he actually actively knows and encourages this. So the, the option A is I'm not gonna moderate because it costs money to moderate. I don't care if it's child porn or not child porn. So that's already horrific. But that's a better option. Option B is, oh, I know there's child born and I like making money off of it. Um, well, he had domains where there was apparently child porn directly making money off of it. So this is, doesn't seem unclear. Let me give you examples. Now first, on the places he was moderating. A moderator asked Watkins for permission to delete a thread titled, a rape scene of a primary school student. Uh, sorry about the language, but this is what was in the thread. They, it continues, sperm have a scene in the vagina of elementary school students and gang rape, etc. part two. Watkins initial response, I looked at that thread and I don't think it's really what the thread says. There are no links to the pictures, don't delete it. After other users certain the thread contains such links, urge him to look again, Watkins concedes his error and agrees to remove it. But the original, Discussion of raping elementary school students 
He thought, if it's just a discussion and we don't have the links to the actual rape, it's totally fine. Don't delete it. Now, why do you think QAnon focused about focused on pedophilia? There's two reasons. One is it's the most heinous charge you can make about someone. So it if you say someone's a child molester, you're not having a conversation about their trade policies or or healthcare policies, right? It ends the conversation. So it's toxicity is the number one reason. The number two reason is because all the people who made the charge, not all of them, but a lot of them are doing projection. They're used to child porn, and so they assume everyone is. In fact, in one of the posts from 2009, Watkins refers to cheese pizza, margarita pizza. That is an awful strange reference, and he's actually referring to that as a code word for child porn. Now, later, if you remember, there was Pizzagate, and it was so weird because they were positive the Democrats were running a pedophilia ring because Podesta ordered cheese pizza for a Democratic get together. Well, to anyone who's not a pedophile, you have no idea what that means. Why would cheese pizza mean anything? But to pedophiles, they think, ah, oh, they must be thinking like us. They ordered pizza, they must want to molest little kids like we do. That's where the loony stuff begins. So, look, man, if you're a QAnon person, look at the people who started it, you schmucks. And there's more where this came from. Yeah, I mean, but again, this this will just fly under the radar. And uh, teachers who just want to be supportive of their students, they'll get they'll get labeled the groomers, they'll get labeled pedophiles, they'll get labeled all sorts of things. By the way, um, you know, after we did that Rogan story, a bunch of his supporters who got real hurt that I I, I offended their daddy. Um, sent me examples of female teachers, right? Of course, it's all anecdotal stuff. Show me like studies, show me an actual pattern. Like anecdotal stuff doesn't prove that there's an actual trend or a pattern. But nonetheless, a story here, story there of a female teacher, either in her mid 20s or early 30s, um, having, uh, you know, uh, Engaging in sexual acts with one of her students, which I think is wrong, and she should face charges for that. And I've always been consistent on that issue. But it's interesting that Joe Rogan, in one of his stand ups, specifically defended that female teachers sleeping with their students is totally fine. So, which one is it? Are they groomers or pedophiles when they engage in that behavior? Or is it something to celebrate for the male students who had sex with the older teacher? Yeah. And, and they they're do this sleight of hand where they're like, well, are you saying there's no child molesters? Of course there's child molesters. There's Donald Trump's best friend, Jeffrey Epstein, who he said likes them young. He knew that he was a molester. Mm -hmm. The gr number one groomer in the country, everybody knows it. And if you're a right winger or you're QAnon, you know it best of all, Ghislaine Maxwell. That was Epstein's main helper. She was the groomer. She would bring in the young girls, groom them for Epstein and his rich buddies. Trump wishes her well. And he wished her well twice. While he was president, she got arrested. At that point, we already know she is the leading groomer in the literally in the history of the country. And Trump goes, "I wish her well." But no, 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 no. When the right wing does it, and it's super obvious, ignore it. It's only the Democrats. Okay, yes, there of course there's child molesters in the country, you schmucks. Let's go stop the actual child molesters instead of doing a rando political attack on your ideological opponents that doesn't actually have anything to do with child molestation. So I want to come back to the domain sites that Watkins himself was running. Remember the Watkins, the, the dad that we're talking about here and the son, Ron Watkins, who's now running, of course, as a Republican in Arizona, uh, are the guys who ran 8chan and had the correspondence with QAnon and HBO documentary shows pretty overwhelmingly that it was actually Ron Watkins. And and so, so now back to, to his dad. Watkins acknowledged hosting the sites. These are the these are not now moderation. These are his own porn sites, okay? Uh, but denied that the sites contain child sex abuse material, despite analysis of metadata from several of the domains showing that they featured file names suggesting that they harbored pedophile content, like quote xxx preteen. Oh my god! And That's quote disgusting children, children, alongside sexual references to girls aged. 12 to 15. That was on the sites that he ran and he profited off of. And then lo and behold, the Watkins come up with a theory about how their ideological opponents, the Democrats, 
because of cheese pizza are actually running a pedophile ring. It's projection 101. Totally. These right wingers are absolute utter monsters. They do monstrous thing and then they blame the other side for it. So that's what's happening. Thank you to Mother Jones for doing actual investigative journalism. Great job. And everyone else will, as Anna said, you can see, you'll see it for yourself. We'll ignore the story. They won't cover it and they don't make it seem like, oh, are Democrats child molesters? Let's debate at 11. Okay, totally. when in reality, the child molesters are the ones that started the conspiracy theory in the first place. And I don't know that they molested children, they just sold it for profit. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.